Hi, my name is Ryan Sloan and I'm a sales engineer at Sweetwater Sound. And uh, today I want to walk you through the process of activating and or registering your Pro Tools LE system. Um, I got a simple 003 rack plus here and I'm just going to run through the, the process for you real quick. It's really for the installation part as simple as anything else in the market. Uh, you simply open your CD, you click the install Pro Tools icon and follow the prompts. Uh, make sure you install Pro Tools LE8 on the checkboxes as well as the core audio support and both of those come checked by default. You'll also see an option for Avid Video if you're working with any of the Mojo products uh, then you'll know to check that box and um, if you do have a mini I.O. there's also support there that you can check for that. Um, now that's a that's a DigiDesign or Avid uh, mini I.O. not any mini I.O. Uh, regular MIDI boxes will work just fine with Pro Tools by default, so keep that in mind. Now, the first step as far as registration goes is pulling out your yellow registration card. Uh, it says Product Registration Information Card on the top, and that's what you'll want to check out. To do that, uh, this day and age here, you're going to go to avid.com. Now, once you're on their site, I know it can be very confusing to find it here. Uh, the registration section is actually under their support and services section. So click that, and then on the right side you'll see the Pro Tools support section uh, with the registration right there. So take that yellow card and fill out the corresponding information there, and that will get you all set up as far as uh, getting your warranty started, giving you limited tech support that uh, Avid offers over the phone. Um, you know, an interesting thing to note is that Sweetwater does offer lifetime technical support. Uh, it could be five weeks after you buy the system, it could be five years. You can always call back to our guys. They're in the office Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and we can get you taken care of with any odd issues you might have. So definitely keep that in mind, but follow these prompts to get that taken care of. And if you do have a factory bundle, you'll have a second card. Um, you can also register that on their site. Uh, that will uh, attach the factory bundle authorizations to your account for any future updates. But the most important thing to note with that is actually the um, the iLock that is included in the package. And you might be asking what an iLock is. Uh, an iLock is essentially just a USB key that acts almost as a serial number essentially for your software um, authorizations that you have. So. You know, picture it as something that it's just a dongle basically holding your licenses for all the plugins that you'll use in your system. So once you put that in your computer, then we can go over to iLock.com. If you already have an account there, you know, you can enter this as your second iLock. It'll pick it up on your account. If you do not, uh, then you can actually just create a new account. That's right here. Just click Create Free Account. They don't charge you any money for that. That's actually all handled up front. But I'm just going to log into my account just to show you what it looks like. And it usually does take it a minute to load my account. Uh, I have so many licenses um, in being a dealer that, uh, that it has to go through quite a few of those. So while that's loading, there's one other thing that you'll want to do. Once Pro Tools is officially installed and once you run it and get everything authorized here up front, it's going to ask you for your authorization code for the Pro Tools, in this case Pro Tools 8 software. And that has actually changed as of, uh, as of not too long ago. In the box now with your 003 for instance, you're going to see a setup guide. And it used to be called the Getting Started Guide. And it may still be called that with Mboxes, I'm not 100% certain. But either way, uh, look up, look for your setup guide or your getting started guide. And on the first page, the actual physical piece of paper on the back side, on the top left hand side, you're going to see um, your actual serial number for the Pro Tool software. So definitely keep that in mind. It will start with a DIGI0800 number. So when Pro Tools starts for the first time, it's going to ask for that. Just put that in. Remember, it's in your Getting Started Guide or your Setup Guide with your 003 family product. Uh, that's something that's very critical. That's usually the thing that people get hung up on the most in my uh, experience. Now you can see iLock is loaded up. You can see I've had six iLocks 
I had more than that in here, but that's just what we have loaded right now. You can see, you know, things that I've done to them last. Now the cool thing here is you can actually track your licenses. So when Pro Tools opens, it's going to look on my iLock. In any of these software products I have loaded, it's going to say, hey, can he run these software products? Yes. It's going to go back to the iLock and say, hey, he can run any of these products. He owns them. So that's pretty cool, and that'll work for you as well if you enter that in there. Uh, again, that's a, a very critical and simple part of the process. But I've got a feeling that that may be holding our install up. But if you follow those steps with your iLock, with your Pro Tool serial number and your registration, you'll be up and running in no time. But if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to, to let me know. You can actually get in touch with me at my website, ryansloan.net. That's R-Y-A-N-S-L-O-A-N dot N-E-T. Okay? Thanks for watching, and uh, again, if you have any questions, just let me know.